Hello everyone. So today let us talk about uh, migrating your scripts from uh, server to cloud. And this is very important topic because uh, nowadays many organizations are uh, migrating to cloud because uh, data center is not really an option for them and uh, and cloud is the is the way forward. Now on cloud of course you can do automation and i'm i'm focused on uh, scripting here because on server version you have this ability to do extreme customizations uh, using a script now for jira on server and by the way there is also a script now for jira on cloud so you do have the option to do automation using scripting on cloud but th there are differences the way script now for jira works on cloud is uh, different from the way it works on the server now just to give you some background on server script now for jira utilizes the java apis jira java apis so basically there are a lot of things that uh, you can do with jira you can do extreme customizations you can uh, uh, manipulate uh, the way it works it looks you can insert uh, your own uh, elements on your jira interface and of course you have behaviors for example so these things are not there on the cloud version because on cloud script now for jira can only use rest api and the rest api api is of course uh, quite big i mean when i say big i am talking about it can do a lot but it is not like the java apis you can using java apis you can actually uh, do almost anything that you want to do with jira you can break it you can uh, you can actually uh, manipulate the way jira works and uh, with the help of script runner for jira on server you have the option to write scripts in uh, groovy which is of course uh, an extension of uh, java on cloud version of course uh, using rest api the language is still groovy but you're limited by what rest api has to offer now if you want to learn by the way script now for jira on server or script now for jira on cloud i have separate playlist on my channel i have uh, separate courses on uh, on my website again they are all free of cost and uh, if you just want to focus on rest api i do have a separate playlist and separate courses on uh, just rest api so doing different things with rest api and i think uh, if you are moving towards cloud and uh, and we know that on cloud you also you, you only have the option to use and utilize the rest api so i think it is very important that you have uh, a good understanding of how it works and uh, what all you can do with it of course you know there is a document there is a reference document where you can take a look at all the uh, endpoints that rest api will give you on of on of course uh, the server version you have java api and uh, it is like huge it is massive now talking about the the focus of the topic for this particular video is uh, the migration i wanted to talk about the migration from server to cloud if you have been using jira server version uh, for a while and of course you have script now for jira so in case you have script now for jira on server then um, then i'm i'm sure you want to preserve those customizations or integrations or b basically people use script now for jira because they want to solve a problem they want to support their business they want to support their teams so that uh, they can get the most out of uh, a tool like jira but when you move to cloud there is no straightforward easy way to simply copy and paste your scripts from server to cloud because uh, the way you would customize things on cloud is using rest api now 
what you need to do in case you have to migrate the scripts, you have to first uh, figure out all those scripts that you have on uh, the server version. You can you can use a script registry, I believe, which will give you a really good uh, way to understand all the scripts that you may have on your server version. So the first thing that you need to do, find all these scripts. It could be a script which is maybe used in a listener. You can have scripts in uh, maybe your scripted fields or all the behaviors, for example. So get the list of all those uh, scripts and uh, then you need uh, to basically figure out what all you can do on cloud, whether you can uh, achieve the same kind of uh, customization on cloud or not. So you need like a consultant or maybe uh, talk to a partner or maybe reach out to, a, to, to Adaptivist. I'm sure uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure Adaptivist can definitely help you because it is their, their app. So they can actually assign a consultant to work on it, to look at your current scripts. And then uh, for each and every script, let us say on your current instance of Jira, you have identified 50 scripts. Now, we have to first uh, take a look at what those scripts are doing. And then we have to figure out whether we can do it on cloud or not do it. If not, then uh, we have to figure out the workaround. And uh, of course, we, all, we, 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 have to, we, we have to basically keep in mind that if you're doing something with Java APIs on your server version using Scriptner, then if there is no if there is no endpoint if there is no way to do it using rest api then of course you know you have to think about you have to rethink about uh, uh, your your customization your integration or whatever automation that you're trying to do uh, moving forward so once you have identified out of let's say 50 scripts you can maybe replicate the automation or rewrite the scripts maybe for 30 of them if not all then of course you know you need a consultant you need someone with a scripting knowledge or a knowledge of uh, not just scriptner for jira groovy but also how rest api works so do that uh, with the help of a partner or a consultant and uh, and also the good thing about cloud is that you you have the option to use automation rules so that is also that you can consider automation rules can do a lot of things for you of course you cannot really achieve a complex business logic using automation because you're just using the interface. And uh, I, I think beyond a certain point, you need to write a script. But if, if you want to do automation, if you want to basically use the automation rules, you can still do that. If, let us say, your current scripts are doing something very simple, maybe your cur current scripts uh, on server version, they are like a couple of lines and uh, there is not much business logic, then I'm sure you can uh, achieve quite a lot of it using automation rules. And in case you want to learn automation rules, you can take a look at my automation, uh, my mastering Jira Cloud Automation playlist or free course on my website. So moving to cloud, if you have identified that you have to move to cloud, then uh, you have to, and, and if you are using these integrations, these automations, then you have to figure out a way to replicate these things or redo these things on the cloud version. And I would recommend to uh, get in touch with a consultant so that uh, a consultant can uh, help you with, with doing all these things. And uh, skill-wise, of course, you need someone who can uh, script, ideally in uh, Groovy, because that is the language we are talking about. But more than uh, the language, I, th I think uh, you need someone who has uh, a very good uh, understanding of how Jira works, both on server and cloud. And at the same time, uh, talking about REST API, I think REST API is the core, is the fundamental here, because uh, uh, you need to know how it works. And if you if you take a look at uh, Scriptner for Jira Cloud, I, I, I recommend you to evaluate it, because it is really easy. If you can do few things uh, very quickly, I mean, you, you, you can install it and then take a look at a lot of examples. Also go to the uh, library where you can find a lot of examples for both server and cloud. And, uh, and those examples will help you. And 
it may not be straightforward migration in case you have uh, in case whether you're wondering whether it will be a uh, simple or uh, uh, difficult so if, if you have been using Jira for a while for many years then uh, it may not be a straightforward simple migration it is not going to be a simple lift and shift of your scripts but but it is possible it is definitely a possibility and uh, because uh, many organizations are going to move to cloud in the next couple of years because data center may not be an option for them and i think cloud moving to cloud makes sense so you have to figure out these things uh, uh, sooner than later and that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much